think it's about time you go outside, don't you? I mean, you're just staring at a blank computer screen. Go on. Turn off your computer. Okay, maybe after this video. Celebrate outdoors! Hey internet, why don't we head northeast, raise ourselves up toward the sky, and see how realistic an artificially designed forest looks. We have arrived and soon we will be the highest you can be in New Jersey. 1,803 feet high. Let us begin the short hike across the road. Super dude, this is the trail we want to go on. Through the field and through the woods. Hitting up the Appalachian Trail and there's a little part called the Monument Trail. That's what we'll go for. And let us begin. Here we are. It's a nice sunny day out. Seems like a busy park. This isn't a bad trail. Nice and quiet. It's pretty rocky though. There are quite a few unique looking rocks. I don't think it's a... I think it's a little over a mile. I really should look... When I plan these things, I, I know how far it is. I know this is pretty short, but... I don't remember how long it is. See, she gets pretty rocky. Quite a little rocky path here. But we're getting there. Ooh, a nice shaded section. Now I must be hustling because I already almost caught up to some people that crossed the river before I even got out of my car. Hustling, hustling. I like when you have woods like this, it's just just a certain layer of new growth mountain laurel and whatnot and then you just have this trail right through the center everything else is thick and wild like that well this is kind of wild i see you over there that's what we're gonna climb up on top of that little monument what monument you say maybe that one. Oh, that's pretty high Pretty sure we can get up in that. We'll take a look from up top. Looks like they want us to take a look at it from afar. I can do that for you. How's it going? Good. And that's about the distance we have to go yet. She's off in the distance, but we'll make her. It's always weird getting caught talking to yourself in the middle of the woods. Hey man, electronics need a little conversation too. You know what I'm saying? All right, now this, I think right after that little lookout is where you're gonna wanna leave the Appalachian Trail and you'll come up this veterans trail veteran monument it's marked with the green that's just what i assume because it's going up this hillside here i'm your guide i better be right and then we come to a road you gotta look both ways come across here i can see the monument in the distance between the trees there Gotta be getting close. Hey guys, look what I found. Oh, yep, I took the right trail. This is it, highest point in New Jersey. Look at those little deals. You can climb that beast. down here go down there take a little dip if you'd like to oh yeah it's 
realize that last little part. A bit of an incline real quick, but nothing too horrible. 25 cents to bring distant points to you. Well, I think I'm gonna climb that. The monument itself does not mark the actual high point. That's right out here. It's just off here, right in front of it. Now, I'll climb it. How's it going? like a little museum in the base there. <laughs> We're getting dizzy. Okay. It's spiral and then oh man. That's rough. <sighs> getting noisy in here. Gotta climb 200. 20? I don't know. I think it was 220. Had to really get my hustle to beat the noise brigade. Whew. Yeah. Oh, nice view. And now I get to relax and slowly walk down to the car. Now let's go explore a magical forest. Here we are at Manitoga, a 75 acre landscape and trail designed by Russell Wright. Let's go see how realistic it is. I do believe this is where we begin. And I think this is called Mary's Field. We'll go this way and We'll see what's up. That is so unrealistic. Here we go. What we got over here? Doom, 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 doom. Let's plot our path. All right. Can't go into that area without a a guide so I'm thinking let's see you can go deer run which is only that little thing you can go the white pine which is only that little thing I think I'm gonna go the good old lost pond loop it's not that far and plus I'm interested in that lost pond. I doubt I'll miss anything right here, so that is what we'll do. We're gonna stick with the whitey, head to the lost pond. Away we go. Well, isn't that nice? We got a little bird's nest. And it will be hard to get lost on this trail. As you can see, they give you the nice little metal markings. And this says 0.5. I don't feel like I've gone five tenths of a mile, but I don't know. Maybe I have. Now this is pretty cool. You got some boulders. Got to go in between them. Now, I'm not sure where or what, other than some rock steps that he's designed out here but I guess we'll find out I mean the house itself yeah you can go in that if you have a tour tour guide that one that's supposed to be an architectural masterpiece there's something kind of like merged with nature kind of deal I don't know. I won't be seeing it, but you can if you want to. 
I just felt like hiking this because it's kind of nice. All right, things are a little confusing here at this bridge. I'm gonna guess that the ones with the black would signify the coming back trail. And I don't really, I mean, there is a trail that goes up that way, but I'm gonna guess I go up that way because that also has the black dots. So I'm gonna head up that way. If I'm wrong, who cares? Actually, I do think I'm wrong. I grabbed one of the maps and it does go across the creek right after the uh, dragon house that we're not checking out. So I'm going across. And I mean, it has this little marker deal there. Just gotta be careful, I guess. I'm gonna walk right over the beams. Safely now. There we go. So I was looking across here trying to find a, these little metal deals on this side and I couldn't see them. Couldn't see them. Now we're on the way. Now things are starting to look a little artificially designed, but we're gonna go over here. There's supposed to be a nice framed view of like boulders and a view of, I guess, stuff. But it's not like a panoramic view, it's more framed in. Now the scale on these maps, it's, it's really tight. Because this was, as I turn the camera off right here, I do believe are the boulders that's supposed to frame, like you can catch the sun sunset through the trees. I guess that's what that is, I don't know, dude, I don't know. First time, man, first timer. But, at this moment, it's not really a great view. I'm gonna head back to the main trail though, it's only like 10 steps away. And I was correct, black dot means you are returning on the path. You're going the wrong way. Alright, back on the trail. And up we go. On the little... If a lot of water came down this, this would be a nice little luge. Got chipmunks hanging out. What's up, dude? What are you up to, boy? Huh? Huh? We have broken away from the trickling water. I don't know which path that is, but we're gonna follow along. Deep, 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 deep. This is a nice little crossing here. Get to go on top of the dam. Natural looking dam. Oh yes indeed. And now we are just left with the white markers. Now we take the long loop to the lost pond. Oh it looks like we got a tight squeeze here. Squeezing! This is a nice little mossy rest spot. Right here at about Nine tenths of a mile up the trail. Getting close to that halfway point. We've got a low draw bridge, and it is peaceful as we approach the lost pond. Now, this is a chill little spot. And I guess a underground spring feeds this nice little pond. That was really nice. Got a cool breeze coming through. Not sure if there are any fish in there, but it dries up right here. I can walk over here. Not quite sure. Yeah, we're good. That is really nice. And this, I think, is up. I think they said about 600 feet or something. It's not really a hard climb. You can get a really nice view of the good old Lost Pond from here. And then you just head on back. This is, as you can see, way over there. This is the one mile point. So it's about halfway. Then you head on back. This area is protected from the hunters, so there's definitely a lot of wildlife out here. I've seen some chipmunks, some squirrels. I just saw 
white-tailed deer hop off over there. It's a smaller one. There's frogs in the pond. Definitely a lot of wildlife out here. You got dragonflies. Bugs that like to bite you. There's actually three deer out there. Tried to get a shot of them for you, but they, they're good at hiding. But I mean, hey, if you guys like taking nice calm strolls through the woods with a good chance of seeing wildlife and you like bodies of water, I'd say a lost pond is definitely a highlight. It's worth taking this path. I mean, it's, it's only a little over two miles. Not much of a climb. It's quite nice. Oh, what a nice open spot. You got some lovely red fungus growing there. And a beautiful open path. It appears we have another view. Let's go check this out. Hopefully it's a bit more open than the last one. Oh, it's starting to open up. A nice mossy section for some quiet hiking. I do believe you want to check out the second view because I can see it's starting to open up, starting to open up a bit. Check out the, I think that's the Hudson River. Got a nice little seat here. I don't know if this is the stopping point or not. But I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go a little farther. See if it opens up even more. Oh yeah. That's a nice view. You definitely want to go past that bench. Nice view of the river. Now here is the good view. Look at that. In all its glory. Real peaceful, huh? You got the highway just over there. There was a train tooting earlier. Nice and calm. Not much down there. See just off in the distance. You got a boat out there. Let's see what that boat's up to. Hey, just chilling. Just relaxing. And now we're back to the main trail. And we'll head back. So ramp. And away it goes. Told you there's wildlife out here. Well, we got lifted and we saw that fake isn't always so fake. But I promise to keep it real as I walk from Delaware to California next year to help kids reconnect with nature. And if you want to help me reach that goal, then click that link down below for details on a CD I helped put together with rock musicians from Pennsylvania. Now you can help out independent musicians, the Children in Nature Network, and me, all by picking up your own copy of that CD. Go check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that subscribe button if you want to see next week's video. It's going to be on my other YouTube channel. Go on, do it. Oh, and if you want to check out the instrumental version of this video, then go ahead and click the video on the left. It's got 100% less Ben eruptions. I bet you won't.